Good morning. It's Friday morning, uh, July 3rd, 2020. Uh, this is Pastor Pete Seifert from North Mr. Presbyterian Church. And uh, I'm here with your morning devotional thought. Uh, I'm back at it again after being away for two weeks for some vacation and study leave. So I'm glad to be back. And i uh, been thinking about what it means to celebrate today uh, or this weekend. It's Independence Day tomorrow, and maybe you've got a uh, sparkler ready to go, but be careful. We don't want to light anything else on fire. There's been too much smoke, too much fire lately. But um, hey, we celebrate every year July 4th, Independence Day. And we celebrate and recognize our country. We give thanks to God for our home, uh, for many who were born here, for many who are immigrants here. I know a few people uh, in our church uh, who are immigrants and uh, for whom this is their first Independence Day to celebrate uh, the birth of the United States. And so we do that together. And we pray for our leaders. We pray for the people in our communities uh, that we would uh, continue to be a safe place where there is freedom, where there is opportunity, where we can worship and work together and build a community. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, it says, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people. We need to be praying for all people, for kings and all those in authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. As we give thanks uh, for our nation, uh, we pray for God to continue to uh, show wisdom to leaders and to all of us as we contribute to our communities and have a vital part in how our nation works. I know there's been a lot of hurt lately and a lot of people who feel like there's a lack of inequality and that we still have a ways to go. Well, that's always been true. Our country certainly is exceptional, but it is one of the many nations of the world that God wants uh, to know that he loves. It's not like we're in America, the greatest nation in the world. We are one of the nations of the world, and it is great. And we can always do better. I've been remembering about uh, one of the uh, important people who was there on that July 4th, 1776, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. He was a Presbyterian. In fact, he was a pastor. He was the only clergy to sign the Declaration of Independence he was a delegate from New Jersey. He also supported the Articles of Confederation and the, the, the Constitution as it came about. He's very influential in the formation of not only our country, but also many of the leaders who became leaders in the country. One of his important students was James Madison. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about John Witherspoon. He was a Scottish Presbyterian pastor who came to the U.S to lead what was then called New Jersey uh, College. I think it was called College of New Jersey. It later became Princeton uh, Seminary and Princeton uh, University. Well, it was a school that was really designed for the, the uh, training of pastors. And it grew, though, in its mission to not only train pastors, but to train leaders in the country. Uh, and so we remember the legacy of John Witherspoon, one of uh, faith, one of teaching because he taught moral philosophy and he taught many of the moral leaders of our country. But it's something I learned recently about John Weatherspoon that I didn't know. Uh, even as he read and understood the Bible and what freedom uh, from sin and life in Christ meant, he owned slaves. At his death, among his list of property that he had, there were two slaves. Many of his offspring uh, went to live in the South, and they became wealthy as land and plantation owners who, who used uh, enslaved persons to gain wealth. And we realize that one of the many difficulties of our country was that expectation 
that not all men were really free or meant to be free. There are always blind spots we have. In spite of the greatest legacies we receive from people who have gone before us in previous generations, we realize that they have blind spots we do today as well. But we have the opportunity to pray for God to continue to correct our sight, to continue to give us wisdom, to continue to allow us to love him and to love our neighbor, serving him. I thank God for this great country. I thank God for my neighbors, for the community I'm in. And I know that even though there's differences of opinion and lots of uh, points of, of view, and there's hurt that many have experienced, uh, it's still a place I want to live in and invest in to be better. I don't want to be divided. I don't want to be uh, considered someone who's going to win or lose. I want to be a part of what God is doing in my life to bear fruit in this community. So, God bless you. God bless America. And I hope to see you uh, as we worship again virtually and online this Sunday. Have a great Independence Day weekend.